Hello everybody, my name is Amy. Tonight we will be watching Split. I actually watched Unbreakable a few months ago not knowing it was part of a trilogy. So we'll be continuing that here tonight with Split from 2017. Oh, it's her. I can't remember her name. She's been off a few things. The Queen's Gambit and Peaky Blinders. That's what happens when you do a mercy invite. I believe you wanted to invite everyone. I seriously believe that we can go home oh, now. Did I mistakenly convey this was a democracy? We are not going till she gets picked up. I'm just gonna take the bus. You're not taking a bus. I'll drive you home. You won't be able to hear my dad tell jokes that only he thinks are funny. You don't really want to miss that. Can I help you? Dad's not coming back, is he? Eyebrows? That's yeah. the one thing that can make it? Yeah. <laughs> I do sure about my eyebrows. <laughs> 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 Pardon me, sir. I think you have the wrong car. Shit, it's too late. <laughs> Why isn't she reacting? Go on, just... I have seen this advertised a while ago, probably when it came out. So I do know it's about someone with split personalities. And I think I remember him kidnapping people. And that's as far as my knowledge goes with this film. <laughs> Lisa together. The contrast. Do you know what happened to my dad? I choose you first. Damn. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. It's just started. <laughs> He's a strong man, but maybe if they all went for him at the same time, maybe one of them could make a run for it and get help. I hear the tiniest little splash. And here it comes, a freak of nature. How big was the wreck? It was huge. 
Why was he looking at the rack? Because he had book fever. <laughs> Make sure you put your gloves on after you finish. Your feet and your hands get cold first out there. He's gonna come in here again any second and we're not letting him take one of us out again. Jesus! We should fight him. We should drop a crazy ass bomb on him. I think we should try. One punch from him would knock one of us out. And they might as well try while they're together. Because if they do start trouble, he's gonna separate them all. The only chance we have is if all three of us go crazy on this guy. We need you, KC. I'll do it if you're gonna do it too. They all need to be in on it though. Shut up. Both of you. Why do you do this? Why do you act like this? Why do you act like you're not one of us? And I think low blows are allowed in this situation. Go for the balls, the eyes. Doesn't have hair, but the weak spots. <laughs> when you're aiming, Casey, always keep both eyes open. Females are smarter than the males, but they make sure they have cover. They always remember they're trying to stay alive. Looks get dumb during mating season. Makes sense. Hey. No, 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 that one. That one, before the pink frock coat, I'm gonna hand print it with newspaper headlines. <laughs> it's a good designer. Just the kind of thing Hampton's ladies would spend $15,000 on to wear once. I probably would as well. You know, I, I can't stay too long. This is, this is just, a, just a visit. Well, tell me what's going on. What, you mean the email? Nah, just the usual things, just feelings of being overwhelmed. I'm better now. How's work? It's great. You know, of all my other clients with your disorder, you've been the most consistent at your job. So she's his psychologist. How old are you? <laughs> Who's gonna look after us when you retire or pass on? If ever something were to happen to me, I've made arrangements with a colleague from Baltimore to take over. I'm doing much better. I, I shouldn't have emailed you. I'm, I'm just, look at me, I'm too impulsive. Rather you didn't leave, Barry. Did something happen? Don't worry. This was just a visit. I'm doing much better. But why did he come see her then? Thanks for fighting for us, Dr. Fletcher. I don't know how you work with those people. What people? Your patients. I think it'd be really interesting. Well, we look at people who've been shattered and different as less than. What if they are more than us? I don't believe it. Yeah. No offense. Yeah. I've been through some shit. And I'm not gonna lie, it was very hard. And I do wonder if people who haven't experienced hardships actually appreciate life as much that people who have. I saw that you had this under control. Please tell me it's not too late. The phone is waiting. You shouldn't have one. We're here, Papas! That's him, isn't it? Don't go in there. Are they gonna have the shock of their life? Don't worry. I'll talk to him. He knows what you're here for. He's not allowed to touch you. He knows that. What are they there for then? Oh, those poor girls. <laughs> Karen. Joe. They said you can't have your own panel at the National Conference. 
well, were they open this time with the new evidence? They are what they believe they are. The brain has learned to defend itself. It is strange how that works. And perhaps now they are capable of something we are not. DID patients have changed their body chemistry with their thoughts. He was having a full conversation with himself. Does everyone get how whacked this is and that we need to get out of here now? Well, here he comes again. No, please. Keep your area neat. The bathroom, it's unacceptable. Use a blue bottle f for the floor and the pink bottle for the ceramic surfaces. We've seen an artist, a woman, and a neat freak. I don't think so that in a horrible way, by the way. A clean person. <laughs> huh. I was sent to get you for a reason that you are sacred food. Sacred food? And I promise not to bother you again. I'm very reserved, but in a situation like that, I couldn't help but ask questions. <laughs> Maybe he has a dog or something. I think he's gonna feed us to his dogs. Oh, I hope not. My name's Hedwig. I have red socks. He's on the moon. It's like Gollum. He's on the moon. Is he supposed to be a kid? Someone's coming for you, and you're not gonna like it. He's done awful things to people, and he'll do awful things to you. Great. <sighs> How old are you? Nine. So you're not the guy that took us? No. What are you, blind? <laughs> you don't know how they think. No, they don't, they don't tell me much. I hope we find out why he has a split personality. It's probably from some kind of child abuse. See ya! Wait! We heard something. Do you know what we heard? What did you hear? Come here. I'll whisper it to you. She's gonna attack him, isn't she? I think he could probably coax a nine-year-old to let you off. and the lady talk about it. They're going to give him you. Oh. No, Miss, Miss Patricia, she said... She says she's not mad at me anymore. I think Miss Patricia's still a little mad at you. She's, she thinks I make silly mistakes. We all need to get out of here. You could show us the way out. We could be gone before anybody gets back. It took forever to get this place safe without the nosy bodies at work here finding out. I have to blow my nose. No, no, wait, please don't talk! Hey, you said something about making the room safe. This is all new drywall. How are they going to get through that? Wait. Wait, are we sure about this? They've only got one shot at this. I don't know if I'd have done it right now. Casey, you were right. He was covering up a way out. I think I would have waited. Oh. 
But then you never know if he's gonna just come back as some horrific person. And now he knows that you started to dig a hole. What? Hey, what are you guys doing? Give us a second. We're changing. Guys, do not be funny. <laughs> I would like to think they escape, but I know it's too early in the film. She got through though. Just give me as much time as you can. <laughs> She's up. Keep going. Is he going to be waiting for her under there? <laughs> Where are they? It's not like a railway thing. Gonna turn around, yep. I knew a jump scare was coming and it still got through. <laughs> Would you step outside, please? You like to make fun of us. Step outside. Oh, God. Look at your sweater, it's dirty. Remove it. Is this the man that likes everything clean or is he gonna do something to her? I'm trying to be good. This is a hard one because you know that he's mentally ill, but still, these girls don't deserve this. One identity in an individual. There have been cases where one identity is allergic to bee stings. The others are not. Differences in the identities can be dramatic. The identities have different IQs. They have different physical strengths. Their ability to hyper-focus and have different experiences is astounding. It shows what the brain can do, though, if you... If you put your mind through it, it happens to your trauma though, doesn't it? Have these individuals, through their suffering, unlocked the potential of the brain? I read a book ages ago, I can't remember what it's called, but it was about split personalities. I think she had three, but they all spoke different languages. Someone kills her father in the story and she realises it was one of her personalities. It's about depth and uh, and and yeah, you see that one. It's it's kind of like a chenille sweater dress. Who are you, Barry? I don't think you are. Can they trick you with their personalities? You've emailed for an unscheduled appointment two days in a row. I think. Orwell or Jade or Heinrich had the light for a moment and emailed me and you're here to tell me everything's okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask again, to whom am I speaking with now? She knows him and his personality is too well. Barry is an extroverted leader. Yes, I am. 
based on the description of all 23 identities that live in Kevin's body. 23. I think I'm talking to Dennis. Did she say Dennis was the bad one? But he's been banned from the light because, among other reasons, he has a proclivity to watch young girls dance naked. And I guess this because you've adjusted the chocolate dish twice since you came in here, and I understand you have OCD. <laughs> That's clever. That's clever. But I'm 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 not Dennis. Please believe me. I'm Barry. You must forgive me. My job is to challenge you. She probably knows she probably shouldn't push him. We finished about 3.15, so look around 3.18. That's the director, isn't it? I can never say his name properly, and I don't want to... <laughs> I love, I love the films I've seen of his. The Sixth Sense, The Visit. He did Unbreakable. See, how'd you know the trash would be spilled? How can I say this, Jay? You're not the most meticulous of people. He's not very neat as he walked right through the trash. Any normal person would have walked around it. That was an act. What are you up to, Dennis? Yeah, I'd be like her. Very intrigued. Neat. The way she's looking at him. It's good. It's got paprika in it. That's to show how important you are. Come along, and we'll have a proper meal. He said there were food for something. Are they going to be part of a ritual? Good. Can Claret come eat with us? No, I'm afraid that can't happen. Oh, I hope he doesn't. He said he wanted them alive. So hopefully she's okay. I'll make your second sandwich. Shit. <laughs> it's crooked. I, forgive me. I think that would scare me the most, is that he's so unpredictable. Oh shit. Oh god. Um, she's gonna get her finger stuck in that. Ah! Oh no, she's good. She just left her friend there. He already knows she has nowhere to run because he doesn't seem bothered, does he? In the sun, we will find our purpose. <laughs> Ooh. You've never truly suffered. And that's why we chose you. I've never had a chance. <laughs> He's sleeping next to her, that's creepy. It was nice what you said about me, Patricia. Oh, he's nice, okay. You guys lied to me. You made me scared. I'm sorry about that, Edward. I'm just you know who Dennis and Miss Patricia are? Dennis and Miss Patricia, they believe in the beast and what he can do. <laughs> can I kiss you? I wanted to kiss the other girl with the dark hair, but she's in trouble. So you want to? I mean, I don't know much about kissing though. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you 
You might be pregnant now. My nine-year-old brain used to work like that. I like dancing. You like dancing? I, we got my, my CD player set up in my, my room right, right, right next to my window. Maybe I could listen to music with you. No, my music's in my room. This is sad. Maybe you could sneak me there. Are you trying to trick me, etc.? I'm, I'm telling on you. I'll tell you something. And you can tell me if I'm lying or not, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. I get into trouble at school on purpose so I can get sent to detention to get away from everyone so that I can be alone. I have cut myself off from everyone apart from my family. Okay, I'll show you something cool in my room. But after Mr. Dennis has finished his getting ready ritual, I have to go. Damn. Doesn't seem fair. Because the nine year old would be the best idea of escape, but he's supposed to be nine in there. <laughs> I was down and I emailed you and I woke up and I feel better. I want to talk about the incident at work. I just want to bring the details back. Two young ladies came up to you and one took your hand and put it under her shirt on her breast. You surmised that it might be on a dare. Oh. It was just a teenage prank. I, I get that now. Although you said you were fine, sometimes another incident of abuse can cause suppressed personalities to take the light. That's what split personality is, isn't it? It's just a lot of personalities trying to protect you. The others told me that you and Patricia told the group about this beast. How this beast can crawl on walls. How his skin is thick and tough like the hide of a rhinoceros. Do you really believe the stories about the beast? If this is you, Dennis, I understand why Kevin needs you. You are strong and disciplined, and you will not be taken advantage of. You don't have to hide. I know you are someone who cares for Kevin. You are not evil to me. Oh. Dennis, is that you? It is, isn't it? They keep calling us the Horde. The others, you know? Miss Patricia and I, we are ridiculed. Now, we're not perfect, but we don't deserve to be ridiculed. But it sounds like Dennis is a bit of a, a bully to the other personalities. Even if he does think he's doing it for their good. I am pleased to meet you, Dennis. I assume you don't know who emailed me for the emergency sessions. One of the others. Do you still have strong beliefs? That depends on what. This story of the beast. You've met the other altars. You're all in a room in chairs, right? But you never met the beast. Or maybe the beast represents the person that hurt him when he was younger. He's not the 24th identity. He's a fantasy. Hurry up. Let's go. Come on. It's time. Is that the window he was talking about? Is it a drawing? <laughs> it 
in any other situation, this would be funny. She must be terrified. This is your CD player? Yeah. I'm I'm confused. You said it was near a window. Oh, that's here. <laughs> now it's closed. I was open. Did you think it was a real window? So you could leave, etc. Nine year olds all stupid. <laughs> Help me get out of here, Hedwig. Please. Miss Patricia says that nobody will make fun of me anymore when the beast comes. You said you wanted to show me something cool, right? <laughs> show me something. I don't want to. Please. I... Yeah! Pretty cool, right? Talk to. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't touch those buttons. You're gonna get us found yeah, out. You're gonna get us. Don't talk. What up? Hello? What the? What is this? I feel like he's gonna get into trouble, this nine year old. I wonder how that works. Do they mentally torture him and self inside his head? here he abducted us and he's going to kill me she should be running while she's doing this oh he's locking the door i only have a few hours left i only have a few seconds left i'm begging you put your hands together in contrition in contrition in the sun, we will find our purpose. I read that on a sympathy card. It was for funerals, but I thought it was beautiful. Dennis will explain the meaning of this evening. Damn. is a sentient creature. He believes the time of ordinary humanity is over. We're literally talking like the beast 666. Tonight is a sacred night. It's almost over. Gotta figure something out fast. Casey, come on. Casey, come on, this is our game. I'll tell your dad you're not being nice. Don't say this is something she and the man who was split has in common. Is he gonna do something horrible to her? Ow! <laughs> Come on, take off your stuff. Animals don't wear clothes. Oh. Fucking dickhead. Hey, Casey Bear. Fucking go for it. This isn't funny. What the fuck did he expect? Casey? I'm your uncle. No, you're not. You're a piece of trash. I'm getting upset. 
I'm about to get very angry. There it is. Oh, Could have killed me. That's so sad. That gave me chills. So they both have that in common. Is she gonna use that to help her somehow? I'd hate to say send the police, but she can't go there alone. What am I saying? He's kidnapped three girls. <laughs> Call the police. This place is closed. No, it's, it's you okay. You can't get in. No, it's okay. Hello, Dennis. One of the others emailed me just now. It's weird that the personalities can interact, but they don't see everything that the other personality does. Is everything okay? We're fine. You are quite extraordinary. I just don't want you guys to get hurt. You think we're extraordinary? I like you, Dennis. May I come in? And can we talk? Please. said, I don't get many visitors. Uh, I'll get you some water. I want to talk about Kevin and what his mother did to him. His mother. Kevin's mother had rather malevolent ways of punishing this three-year-old. The one way to avoid her attention was to keep everything spotless. That explains one personality. I lied before. When you asked if I'd ever met the beast, I said no. He has? The beast is real. What does he look like? Yeah, what does he look like? He's much bigger than I am. He's very muscular. He's got a long mane of hair. He believes we are extraordinary. Who are you going to meet? Like physically? We should probably discuss this in a proper session tomorrow. She looks disturbed. <sighs> you okay with this? This has been so wonderful, you being so open. I'm going to go now. I knew you would understand. I'll see you. I thought I didn't believe her for a sec because she looks like she's just trying to get out of there as fast as she can. Would you mind? If I used your bathroom? What is she doing? It's down the hall, near the stairs on your left. How are we doing? I'm okay. She knows something's up. She's gonna be in big trouble if she finds out. Is she gonna open it? Oh, she is. Help me. <laughs> Shh. Oh God, she's too upset. She's not gonna be able to pull it together. Please help me. They will never reach their potential. They don't really matter. I should have listened better. Patricia says your way isn't working. The world will understand now. What? I can't let you keep them here. This identity is monstrous. Don't tell him that. I'm really sad you feel this way. Can't you see? <laughs> Didn't whack her on the head, I suppose. There's a lady. Someone's here. Is there anything in your room, anything that we could use? I would have already gone through all of those boxes as soon as I was in there. <laughs> There's nothing in here. No, 
now he probably hasn't left anything. There's a hanger. Come on, lady. You gotta wake up. It sounded like there were slide bolts on the outside of our doors. See if you can move the lock through the crack in the door. She keeps managing to get out of the room, but it never seems to get any further. You can do this, Marsha. I don't know. Not seeing what you're doing, that would be hard. Liking it to Muhammad's brazen ultimatum that Prince Faraj ate my insulin shots. No one else around here has to take them. They're all these different personalities. All the doctors, besides Dr. Fletcher, say that we're the same person. How do you explain I'm the only one that needs these, you motherfucker? <laughs> for the Farfados t-shirt underneath, I'd be a mess. I'm worried, sick. I have a very bad feeling that I'm losing time. I think someone is stealing the life from me when I'm not aware. It scares me. train half naked was this the beast jesus super fast super strong super bendy sounds like the beast is literally superhuman which probably fits in with Unbreakable. But it's funny that there's no actual links between the two. <laughs> she needs to go and open those doors. I suppose she can hardly hold a pen, but... That's not going to do much help if he comes back. Ooh. He really is superhuman. <laughs> Painful way to die. Why does he need the girls? to feed the beast. So you're literally gonna eat them. The 
god, it's gone really silent. It feels like something's gonna pop out from somewhere. The keys. Really did eat them. Okay, shut the door, lock it, and run. Kevin. Say his name. No, what does that say at the top? I think it says shh. It's turning into Spider Man. Everyone, no problem! <laughs> I think it might have worked on the other personalities, but not the beast. Kevin Wendell Crumb, you made a mess. Kevin Wendell Crumb, you made a mess! She looks like a right bitch. Who are you? I worked. What was happening? Did I hurt you? How does he deal with that himself, knowing that he did something he can't remember? Dr. Fletcher? Who did that? You did that. I swear I was on a bus. This is still September 18, 2014, right? <sighs> There's a shotgun I bought. It's in the bottom cabinet, hidden behind things. Oh my god. Kill me. No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. He can't handle reality. Has Dr. Fletcher been getting our emails? This is what we have to do. We can... This is just really sad. Everybody just take a minute. Oh, baby girl, the group are going to work through this. It must be torture. They're all there to help him, but... Who's this? You shouldn't have used the walkie-talkie. <laughs> they were right. Look at you. You're so frightened of us. No one's allowed to make fun of me anymore. What can I lie? Him talking like a nine-year-old would make me hesitate. <laughs> that would be my weakness right there. Thank you, Hedwig. Okay, get him now. Everything's fine now. The beast has shared with us his dream. <laughs> Ten to twelve unworthy young next time. already. Something sounds really weird. Feels like he's chewing on it. Yes, 
he was, he was chewing on it. Runs in our family. My daddy died too. <sighs> but you don't need to worry. I'm going to take care of you. She's gonna live with him. Oh god. You won't be giving me any trouble, will you? I think that statement is true, unfortunately. It's not this much pain. He's gone through way too much. The impure are the untouched. They are asleep. She get him then. Your gun cannot hurt me. Saying that the knife didn't go through him, did it? Can't you see? I am not human. I look like that one hurt. Is it self-healing? I think this would be the part where I would start pissing myself. Rejoice. Gotta go into the personal of it. I was in a violent relationship for three years. And it was terrifying and I should have never stayed that long. And I got physically really hurt. I couldn't imagine that happening to a child. I really can't. It fucking... Especially sexually. That's just... All right. I didn't think this film would get to me that much. Especially when you see him crawling around everywhere like Spider-Man. It's just sad. What in the name of Mary Joseph? Who is that? Oh, it's another one of her. Okay. What are you doing in this area? Oh no, it's not. She's been saved. Where was she then? Under a zoo? Looked like she was in a uh, train tunnel. Just keep walking, honey. I won't do nothing. I think that her dad died and she had to stay with her uncle. Vince, call the police. Said some people got hurt in the area below maintenance. Just brush for each personality. <laughs> It's 
story is sad, but it's kind of fascinating in a way to know how the brain actually works. And the truth is, we don't actually know 100% how it works. Your uncle's here. Your uncle's still around. You ready to go? We're gonna have a little talk. He still got a bit damaged though. Ha! Uh, uh, holy shit! This is so cool! <laughs> so what do we do now? We trust in him. Let him show the world how powerful we can be. I thought it's a good idea. The suspected murderer, Kevin Crum, suffers from the controversial psychological disorder, DID. There are conflicting stories if the suspect is alive or dead because of his many personalities. He is being called the Horde. This is like that crazy guy in the wheelchair. And they gave him a funny name, too. <laughs> what was it? Mr. Glass. Mr. Glass. Oh, he does pop up in it. Okay. I thought it might be like a Black Mirror thing where you have lots of different stories, but the same thing. But no, it looks like, uh, what was it? David Dunn and Mr. Glass are coming back. <laughs> I enjoyed that film very much. I'm not very good on the superhero thing. These seem to be done a lot differently. It was freaking devastating you know, to know why he is the way he is and what that girl went through. I think that's what hit me the most out of the whole thing. It hit me more than the kidnapping and her, him scrunching up that poor woman. I think it's the fact that kids are so innocent. It's not fair. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the, to the next one. I'm not going to promise it will be the next video out because Halloween is coming up and I might have my family over to do some films. But it will be coming out in the future. Hopefully. Yes, most probably. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See you again next time. Bye.